previously in War on the Sea, Operation Watchtower. The battle around Guadalcanal and Rennell Islands rumbles on. While the troops on the ground continue to press on, the aircraft from the carriers of Wasp and Enterprise continue to fly sortie after sortie to repel oncoming Japanese task groups. The Japanese have paid a heavy toll attempting to reinforce Guadalcanal, with another battleship lost, several cruisers and scores of destroyers thanks to the efforts of our naval fleet aircraft. However, losses of aircraft and damage to the surface fleet from submarine attacks has left our task groups in need of rest and repair. The Imperial Japanese forces must be suffering and running low on resources following their heavy losses. Command believes we are in the ascendancy and we are in the best position should it become a real battle of attrition. The following action takes place between 10.30 on the 10th of October to 10 o'clock on the 12th of October 1942. Hi everyone, welcome back. Here we are, 10th of October 1942, 10.35 a.m. And the current state of play is we've got battles raging for Rennell Island and Guadalcanal. Meanwhile, we spotted just at the end of the last episode nine ships, they say. Very fast moving, maybe one light cruiser and five destroyers. Now, we did the uh, view from the Wildcat, and indeed it is one uh, light cruiser and five destroyers. Six, six ships, not the nine currently reported. Also, one of our spotter planes has spotted uh, what looks to be a submarine uh, coming into this area. Now I've dispatched two um, Avengers from Rennell Island, we only had two left with depth charges to go there and um, we've got some aircraft returning to the um, aircraft carriers here and then we'll send some aircraft up to uh, have a look at these um, cruisers and destroyers up here. But a quick rundown, Guadalcanal we've got just under 5,000 troops on the island uh, they got over 10,300 supplies, so they are doing well. The battle's looking 50-50 there, but we're holding that nicely. And in Rennell Island, uh, we got 3,797 um, troops and 8,000 supplies, uh, and they are looking close to finishing that conflict off. Meanwhile, we had a resupply, and resupply one, the convoy, uh, has now been loaded up with fuel and supplies and troops and is heading up to Guadalcanal to um, put some more resource and uh, boots on the ground up there. That's going to take a few few days to get up there. Uh, so in the meantime, let's concentrate on these raiders coming into our area. And at 11.30, the two Avengers have made it to the sighting of the U-boat, and there it is. There it is. Right, let's um, spin around and attack straight away. She still hasn't died. She's diving, is she? No, she's still on the surface. Okay, we're going to drop these depth charges. And uh, I don't think we're going to get a chance to strafe her. I think she'll be gone. Let's try and drop these depth charges and see if we can't um, blow her out of the water. Unfortunately, that was an unsuccessful drop, uh, so the U-boat lives to fight another day. An hour later, at half past 12, the Avengers are in the area where the light cruiser and the destroyers are spotted. Indeed, there they are. Wow. There's the light cruiser and destroyers. Right, let's um, turn away and begin to attack. Got a few flights of Avengers with rockets. We'll start strafing these uh, destroyers at the rear here. And confirmation after that attack, we lost four aircraft, but we were able to sink two destroyers, one for 1,552 tons and the other for 1,780 tons. Nice. Moments later, just a few hundred, well, a few miles south of the, the last engagement, we've got a report from this Kingfisher. Oh yes, there's ships over there. Another task group. Destroyers. Oh, 
Why is that in front? Is that a fancy destroyer? But yeah, eight, eight ships. Right, we need to make sure we get that radio back and uh, get some aircraft in the sky to uh, start thinning their numbers as well. Okay, so here is where that um, sighting was um, identified. Uh, there's Renel. Oh, it's got those two Avengers. Right, let's see if we can send some aircraft from Enterprise. There you go, six Avengers. Actually, Dauntlesses, can we put rockets on them? No, we can't. Okay, let's get some. Let's get the six Avengers. Let's get those rockets loaded. Okay, and we'll set them over there. And when they go past, we'll send the two from Renel as well so they can gang up together. Uh, meanwhile, we've got some Avengers heading up here to attack the light cruiser with the three remaining destroyers, one damaged. And we know there's a submarine up here as well. Uh, but I've also got the. Um, battleship task group going up there as well. Uh, half tempted to bring this task force, the two destroyers, um, into this area to patrol for the submarine, but I'm also aware there was a wolf pack up here, wasn't there? So um, we may need to keep that clear. Well, here we go. Oh, this is um, resupply two. They're in the area. Let's um, let's just check what they've got on board. Nothing, which is fine. Okay, good. Um, so in that case, let's get those uh, head back here. Keep them out of the way, and we've got resupply one, which is coming up here. Good. A further hour later, and just gone 25 to 2, we have more Avengers arriving in the area to attack that light cruiser and her destroyers. There they are. There's the light cruiser, the three destroyers. I think that one is damaged, is it? Or is it that one? Good, no, it's that one there. Okay, so we'll do another attack on the three destroyers and hopefully we'll claim another kill or two. Okay, here we go with red flight. We've got red, blue, and green. Uh, sorry, red, blue, and yellow flights here. Um, all making their run on the ships now. Now you can see the one that is probably struggling, which we hit last time. At the back there, we are going, I think, for this one here. Uh, just behind the light destroyer, uh, light cruiser, I beg your pardon. And we've got the other two flights coming in that side. Okay, I think one of these destroyers has already gone. I think it's... Is it this one or is it that one? Not sure, this one seems still, seems, still seems to be under power. No, it is this one that's gone. This one has been destroyed. It's just living out the last throes of its life. Um, this one could be also in trouble with the fires. This one looks like it's under control. But yeah. Another destroyer killed. Potentially another one here. And confirmation we have a second kill from this attack. The light destroyer here. So confirmation then, two further destroyers sunk for 1,992 tons and 1,450 tons. We did lose one aircraft in that attack. And at 225, further Avengers from, I think it's the Wasp and Rennell. It's the two from Rennell. Um, we couldn't find those uh, eight ships we saw, but we have stumbled into uh, the two remaining ships here, the, uh, the destroyer and the light cruiser. So let's start picking these apart. 
Okay, here we come. We've got two lots attacking the light cruiser and um, one group attacking the destroyer. Hopefully, that will be enough to finish the destroyer, which is already damaged. We might be able to claim the uh, light cruiser as well. Bit of anti aircraft fire coming up. Going for the light cruiser here. Much damage. A couple going in on the destroyer. There you go. Is there any fires going? Yes, the destroyer looks like it's on. Well, soon will be with two plumes of smoke coming up. I think that'll be uh, hopefully enough to get her sunk. Confirmation at the end of that. No aircraft lost. The destroyer is in critical damage and critical flooding, but she was able to uh, survive this time and uh, no discernible damage or flooding to the light cruiser. And at 10 to 3 we've got some dive bombers entering the area and there's the two remaining ships there. The uh, light cruiser which is making a run for it and the destroyer which actually looks in far better shape than it was moments ago. So let's see if we can finish this small task group off. Okay here come the Dauntlesses then. We've got f three flights. Two are going to attack the light cruiser and one is going to attack the destroyer to try and finish that off. And hopefully that will be this done. First flight moving in there. I think they're going for... Yeah, I think this one here is going for the destroyer. So the one in front is going for the uh, light cruiser. We will be going for the light cruiser as well. Okay, surprisingly, at the end of that, no aircraft were lost. The critically damaged destroyer is still there with heavy flooding, they're obviously sorting out their flooding a little bit. And the light cruiser received moderate damage and minor flooding. At 6 30 that evening, around our battleship group, we've got uh, some sort of conflict. So I suspect it could be torpedoes, but nothing's seen yet. Yes. Torpedoes coming in. Okay, Minneapolis, break. Speed, uh, full ahead. Uh, head that way. Oh, actually, hang on, no, break that. Head that way. Hopefully everyone's going to follow her and that should be okay. Is it just the one lot of t torpedoes? Keep turning, keep turning hard. Seems not to be taking too much. Ooh. We're in danger of getting snagged by this torpedo here. Right, but midships. So you go slant to starboard. Let's get this the, her stern out of the way. Oh, come on, wiggle that bum, get it out of the way. Okay, she's clear. I think. Yes, yeah, she's clear. Uh, oh! Brooklyn has not done a good maneuver. We'll point her over here and hopefully she can um, outrun them. God. Yeah, we're in trouble here. Keep turning. Oh, she's going to take a hit. There we go, right, all stop, all stop, all stop, thank you. Let that go past you, oh, fire's breaking out, crew's on that, repairing away. Yeah, she might need to go back to port. But I think everyone else is clear. Right, let's move the destroyers up the front to uh, 
try and find this Hubert who's desperately trying to slip away now down. Okay, we see the lead destroyers here searching for the U-boat. Nothing spotting from here, so it's obviously deep, probably down at 250 uh, feet or something. But um, yeah, we can't see them, so uh, we'll have to just leave it to the destroyers on this occasion. Okay, after much searching, we were unable to find that U-boat. She managed to slip away, um, and of course, we had some damage. The Brooklyn, moderate damage, minor flooding. A lot of these could go back to port for a bit of um, yeah repair and respite, I suppose. Um, it would be good to get that done. Can we afford not? I can guarantee if we if I take them out of the service now, that a battleship group will turn up any second. Right, and as we pass through the night, um, Enterprise, I have detached from her group, and I have um, put it together with the North Carolina and the the ships from battleship group which have got damage and we are sending them back to port to repair and uh, the Enterprise we're going to resupply with um, shells and uh, aircraft as well to get her back into the fight so Wasp is currently going to be um, patrolling around this area uh, we have the remaining uh, cruisers and destroyers from the Enterprise's group which we will merge the two the the two um, destroyers from the uh, battleship group which are undamaged so if we can merge them I oh, need to be a little bit closer let's head that way yes yeah, so we'll get them merged and um, and then they can oh, they're gonna be a pain aren't they there we go uh, we'll get these merged and then these guys can be our up um, there we go, brilliant. So we've got uh, destroyers basically and um, a couple of San Francisco crews and the Atlantic cruiser here as well. So they're going to be our fleet in this area. So yeah, it's quite a good bit of anti-submarine there. So we're just going to sort of sail around this area. Um, and we've got the wasp over here. We've got these destroyers over here. And these groups will be uh, heading back for resupply. We've got resupply one, which is coming up here, which will drop more supplies and troops there. Well, it's looking quite good. Um, how's Renell looking? Pretty good as well. Meanwhile, at 8.45 on the 11th of October, one of our B-17s flying in the South Solomon Seas has spotted a group. Now, she's smoking a bit. Well, I don't know what the service interval is on this B-17. Oh, hello. Well, that is a battleship with all I can see is lots of destroyers. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Seven destroyers and a battleship. Right. Right, let's get that reported in and see where, which way these guys are going. Okay, so this is that B-17 here which spotted the uh, battleship group. So it looks like they're coming down here once more. Now, how far has... Uh, they're, they're down there. Oh god, you know, I'm going to have to turn them around and head them back up this direction. Just because Enterprise still has aircraft on her and we've just got the battleship North Carolina as well. So uh, we're going to send them up there to defend. Um, keep in mind they're going to be coming this way. So, Oh joy. This group here, we're going to continue to patrol there. Yeah, we've got the submarines there. And these submarines are going to push in front of these guys and sort of patrol up there. Good. Meantime, resupply one is almost here. She's coming and she'll go through the islands to get up to Guadalcanal. Got 4,884 troops still fighting the good fight. They've got over double the supplies, 10,000 supplies, which is good. And Rennell, uh, 3,782 troops, uh, 7,885 supplies. Uh, they're doing well. As well, cool, cool. At five to midnight on the 11th. Uh, submarines defending Reynold Island have uh, spotted something coming through the darkness. Okay, let's have a look. Periscope is up. And there they are. It's the battleship group, right. So we will target the battleship. 
Okay, there she is, right. We're hovering around the 50%. Uh, let's get all four, uh, all six torpedoes in the front tubes going. We'll do a 3% dispersion. 52. Okay, let's fire. That's from the bar. Bluefish is... Um, let's dive away. From the bluefish, let's get her rear torpedoes loaded. We've got four of those. To sit. Yeah, okay. Fire, and we're going to dive away as well. Okay, and the Fuso battleship under the beautiful moonlit seas. As you can see, torpedoes are now streaking in. They'll be starting to spot the wakes. Uh, it may be too late now, but hopefully, we can score some good hits and send the Fuso either down to the bottom. Or at least heading home with serious damage. It's a bad start. One hit. Two hits. Three hits. Okay, good. These ones look like they're going to run slightly. Oh, I don't know. We, we may get some hits with this. She's evading as best she can. Oh, I think she might evade all of those. Oh. However, the destroyers are now running into the uh, tricky area. Yeah, she's managed to evade all those. However, she's incredibly low at the... St oh, maybe not. I was just being hopeful, I think. These two have broken off to hunt the submarines, which is a bit of a blow. Okay, unfortunately we've lost the barb. The barb, um, she had damage from the previous engagement from last week. Uh, and uh, when she dived, she was unable to... Um, unable to maintain a, a safe depth. And she's uh, drifted down into um, her, her death, sadly. Confirmation then. We sadly lost the barb for 2,400 tonnes. The bluefish um, survived. Uh, I managed to get some torpedoes on the Fuso battleship, causing moderate damage and moderate flooding. Maybe that will convince them to turn back, I don't know. But um, yes, we will mourn the the lost crew of the barb. Had just gone 5am the following morning. Kingfishers have been sent out and already they have spotted uh, in the early morning mist. Apparently they have spotted the enemy vessels, well I don't see them. Oh yeah, there they are. Dead ahead, apparently. Okay, we've got some spotter planes from the enemy ships going up. Anti-aircraft is looking pretty fierce. We've got the Enterprise turning away there. We don't want her to engage. And in fact, it'd be nice if we could get out of this um, engagement altogether and uh, launch some fighters, or some dive bombs, I should say, from the uh, Enterprise uh, before we engage that group full-blooded and confirmation we were able to exit that and we know them they're about here so enterprise uh, let's launch some aircraft let's get those Avenger uh, those um, sorry the Dauntless is in the air and we'll get them sending over there from Renell let's get some Avengers we'll get um, rockets on them and we'll get them heading this way as well from from Santa Cruz, get some rocket Avengers as well, get them heading over here, they're going to take some what time obviously, and then we've got the Wasp here who can also send some Dauntlesses up to try and hit the, uh, the battleship. Now meanwhile, this group here, I'm actually going to move out of the way, let's get you out of the way as well. Because I want the aircraft to engage first. So at 5.40, the uh, aircraft have arrived. And they've come out of uh, warp, as it were. Right above the ships, which is really annoying. Uh, these Dauntlesses are going to attack the Fuso battleship. Let's get that ordered before we lose uh, any aircraft to this anti-aircraft fire. Okay, all flights have been ordered to, to attack the battleship. I think we've got the first one going in already. Let's 
smoke streaming from the attention of the anti-aircraft guns. Oh, that was awful. Second wave going in now, and third. He'll get them on target. Better. Good. Now it's our turn. Okay, that was a devastating attack, and look at the fires blazing. I think she's probably... Yeah, there she goes. The klaxon goes. Confirmation. The Fuso battleship has been sunk. So there is the risk to our airfields and our port facilities being bombarded by the battleship. She's been sunk. Now, I don't want to gauge the um, destroyers with any of our heavy ships either. We will try and finish them off with the Avengers with rockets, which are also heading into the area but for now we can just sit back and enjoy another victory against the Japanese battleships So confirmation, we lost two aircraft, but uh, the Japanese lost their Fuso battleship of 34,700 tons. And some of the destroyers have also got some damage. I don't know if that's from the fire from the previous uh, engagement when the spotter planes went up. Uh, maybe they got some hot uh, shots in um, onto the destroyers and caused some damage, which is awesome. At 6.41, the Avengers made it to the scene. There we go. We've got the uh, the seven ships remaining, the destroyers, and so we're going to start picking on these and uh, see what damage we can cause. Okay, we'll pick on the rear three to begin with. Okay, here we are. We've, got, we've doubled up, so we've got two flights attacking two ships, so hopefully we can get uh, two clean kills. That's the idea rather than spreading out the, um, the shots too spiny. Okay, as the klaxon goes a second time, these two destroyers have been sunk by the four flights of uh, rocket-wielding Avengers. Confirmation then, we lost one aircraft, uh, but managed to sink uh, two destroyers. Uh, one 1500 and, oh, both of 1,552 tons, nice. Meanwhile, at two minutes past seven, Avengers from Santa Cruz Islands have arrived where the remaining destroyers are, I think, heading home. Apparently they're here. It's difficult to see in the early morning mist. Let's bring them up. There, apparently. There they are. Okay, let's target this one here. And we'll go in with uh, four rockets and see what we can do. Okay, here we come. Uh, the ships are doing some evasive maneuvers, so we're not getting the best of angles here. But it might work out, if she continues to turn to starboard, it might work out well. We might be able to fire them all the way from her stern to bow. Oh, she's turning very tight. Yeah, got good fires. Right, let's um, evade some of this firing and get home. 
good hits to the rear. You can see the damage in the uh, stern here. The fires are blazing. The aircraft going low and fast and trying to get away. So a lot of the anti-aircraft fire is ricocheting off the water there. Oh, I think she's gone. The stern is under the water. Fire is spreading towards the bow. I'll wait for the klaxon. This, this is the Lazarus. She should be gone. The fire is really spreading now. Give us that klaxon. And there it is, finally. Wow, she hung on for long, much longer than I thought she would. But another destroyer sent to the bottom. Confirmation then. No aircraft lost and another destroyer sunk 914 tons, only four remaining. Meanwhile, up here in Guadalcanal, Resupply 1 has made it unbelievably back up here. So let's um, unload all cargo. Boom. There we go. Resupply has oh, unloaded all cargo at Guadalcanal. Um, we have just dropped the engineering and fuel there, which is actually, considering it's still under Japanese, maybe we should just uh, claim that back for a second. Yeah, we don't want to give that... Um, I don't suppose they can use it, but let's just, let's just, you know, not. Let's just take it back and keep it on our ship. Just, just, just for the time being, you understand, just in case. Just in case there's any confusion about the issue. There we go. Uh, so they're still on the ships. There we go. That's looking a bit better. So we got 7,810 troops on the ground and 15,880 supplies. Not quite. Oh, it's about half. It's just about um, double supplies to troops. So that's looking far better in our favour, that fight now. Down here in Renell, it looks like we are finally squishing out the last remnants of any. Uh, resistance which is good uh, and we've got some aircraft returning to base as well fantastic at 752 more Avengers arriving on the scene to finish off the four remaining destroyers we've got four flights of Avengers here and all four flights will attack uh, a different ship so all four ships will get an attack run against them that's because we know we've got a larger group coming in from the Enterprise, which hopefully will be able to pick the, uh, the stragglers off and any damaged ships in the next raid. Can you see the scorch marks on these destroyers? They've been hit before. Good hits on that one. It's coming in on that one. Oh, that looks good. Okay, those, those two look in trouble. Where's, where's the wing four? There's uh, a fourth flight somewhere. They don't seem to have attacked. Or well, they have been slightly delayed. Ooh, it's wide the mark. That's poor, that was poor. And they got shot down for your poor shooting. Okay, the first klaxon has gone. Um, I think is this one over here. Yes, it is indeed. That one has gone. As you can see, ship two. The ship doesn't look long for this world. Doing the best to sink herself. Um, actually, they all look in trouble, don't they? They all look in trouble. I think we'll just let time play out here because I think time is our friend not that of the uh, pair and uh, rescue crews on these ships. And confirmation at the end of that. Uh, time we let play out, but um, it helped us a little bit. Um, two ships sunk, one for 1,552 tonnes, the other for 2,065 tonnes. Uh, Destroyer 1 has got heavy damage and heavy flooding, and Destroyer 3 critical and critical. 
So the next flight hopefully will finish the remains of that task group off. And just before half past eight, we've got loads of Avengers and Dauntlesses in the area. Probably far too many than we actually need, but um, let's give these boys absolute hell. Two destroyers, that one looks pretty much sunk already. That one's uh, damaged, but okay. Let's just absolutely blitz them. Okay, as you can see, we've got the Avengers over here circling to get low so they can use their rockets. Meanwhile, we've got the Dauntlesses coming in here to do dive bombing runs on both these destroyers. Here comes the first run. Bomb's gone. Going to be released in the background as well. Well, they missed. Second lot. That's a hit. Damage done. That's quite a bit of damage. A bit of scoring on the uh, metalwork of the hull there. Meanwhile, back here, it looks like this one's dead in the water, which is not going to bode well for her as we've got the Avengers coming in here. Rocket attacks. She's gone. Ah, the one in front. More rocket attacks. That's got to be. That's her gone as well. Look at that. Beautiful. Beautiful. Confirmation. Both ships have been destroyed. And so we have it. Destroyer 1 sunk for 850 tons. Destroyer 2 sunk for 1780 tons. Nice. No aircraft lost. So as 10 a.m. rolls around, uh, things are looking good. Another Japanese battleship being dispatched. Uh, we've got a slight damage to some of our groups. Obviously, we've got a makeshift group here with the Enterprise in North Carolina. They were heading back to, uh, to the base for rearm resupply, but. Um, what I might just do is bring them down here so they can get some refuel and uh, new armaments and shells and stuff down here. That's all good. At Rennell, that fight is pretty much won. We're just sort of seeing it out now. We've got some engineering fuel in reserve as well, so we can upgrade the uh, airfield if we so choose. But we're going to hold on to that just in case we get any damage from um, a raid from the Japanese forces. And potentially we can um, rebuild straight away. Uh, Bluefish, uh, let's get you um, rearmed as you are in the area. Obviously, we lost the bar, which is um, sad times. We'll get you out here and to do a little patrol around here again. And up here in Guadalcanal, um, yeah. 7,800 troops on the ground fighting the good fight. We are in the ascendancy, it would seem. Got plenty of supplies there as well, so hopefully Guadalcanal will fall to us pretty soon. We've also got a resupply convoy sitting off um, the coast here with some oil and engineering just in case, or hopefully when, we take control of that port and we can get some upgrade facilities straight away. Uh, down here at New Hebrides, um, we've got 100 engineering and some troops and supplies, but uh, we'll probably leave it like that at the moment. We've got resupply convoy 2 down there at the moment. Uh, and we've got the rest of them just patrolling around and holding station until we hopefully can soon, <laughs> I say that, soon, at least um, finish these invasion battles off. One to capture Guadalcanal and the other to... Um, defend and uh, secure Rennell Islands but um yes and another day where the Japanese Navy have uh, had to count the cost of their uh, of uh, sending their ships against our aircraft carriers if ever was there was a symbol of uh, the aircraft taking over the battleship and the battleship days are numbered these are the battles that are really highlighting that fact um, thank you so much for watching. I hope you really enjoyed it. If you have, give us a thumbs up. It really does help. And uh, share it with all your friends. And I will see you again next time. Thank you so much for watching. Take care. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.